And one thing I have to, that just came out of my mind right now, but I'm not going to release uh, some details because this is personal in your life. Uh, a month or two months ago, something came up in your life. Uh, was I expecting something unexpected? And uh, oh, I, I, I'm and totally, you took a blow. I can talk about it. Yeah, no, I am gonna keep like that. If oh, you want, I just gonna I can get totally, a context. No, I can totally talk about it. You took a blow, which I have seen in, in the different and in, in other people. Yeah. And I was very concerned, so I was calling check on you and your wife. <clears throat> and then I remember we were talking, and then you were at the hospital, and then you told me, "Nope, we are very sad. You know, that's unfortunately, you know. But you know what? Tomorrow I'm back to work." Say, hey man, really? Yeah, yeah, no, nope. or your life keeps, goes on. Yeah. And and that mentality, you don't find easy out there. And mm-hmm. I believe that comes a part of it from the sport. Like yeah. High level to know you got defeated, but tomorrow need to be back training again because yeah, the life is. goes on. I, can I'm you talk a little bit? You don't need to get into the telephone. No, no, I can. You know, uh, so I have a lovely wife, Michelle. Uh, most people who know me know that I am married to Michelle. I know that we have a four-year-old son, Max. And you met her when you were out yeah, partying. Yeah, we, right? we were partying. We were, we were right. clubbing. Ten years ago. The night the <laughs> night uh, we met my wife. Yeah, I introduced her to you. Hey, here she is. She looked at you like this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, so we, um, she was pregnant. We, we want a second child, she was pregnant, and we had told everybody. Three and a half months in, uh, we rushed to the hospital, and um, man, the sad thing is, the baby it was a perfect baby girl. She was perfect, she was alive. Heartbeat was fine, but Michelle could no longer keep her in, in her uterus. So they had to take the, the baby out. Oh, that was so sad. I, I really, really cried. If I were telling this story a month and a half ago, I would cry now. But we, the thing is, I cried so much, Rodrigo, and Michelle too. And it took her much longer than it took for me to recover, of course. But after three days crying all the time, all the time, I just decided, hey, th- this is it. This is not going to define my relationship, who I am, it's, it's just something that happened in my life. It's like getting a ticket. You, you get a ticket, just, just pay. Just pay and move on. But that's why I have right? a ticket. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> yeah. you, get, you get your car towed. Yeah. yeah, just go pick it up, pay, and then suck that's, it up. And right. don't park there anymore. Don't do whatever you did anymore. You know, life goes on. So it was the same uh, thing, but um, it... It doesn't take away the pain, but you have to decide that, hey, it is, okay, this this happened, but now what's happening from now on? Do I want to suffer three more months and victimize myself? Oh, yeah, and this is what happened. No, we were looking forward to getting pregnant again. Well, it's, yeah. it's going to happen. It's going to be awesome. You know, that's what we chose to do. And if it doesn't happen, oh, then it doesn't happen. What, what do I get to decide?